Hello and welcome to Free Spirit. Today we come to you from the beautiful Deer Park in Cape Town. The Nia technique has become increasingly popular across South Africa as a fun and energetic way to keep fit and healthy in mind, body and spirit. In our first story this week, we were fortunate to catch up with Nia co-creator Debbie Rosas. So stay tuned to find out about the origins and benefits of the Nia technique. We look at the design of the body and we allow the body to speak to us and based on its design, tell us exactly how we should be using the body to not only become conditioned, but also how to live in the body. Nia started in 1981 out of a desire to really give something back and to gain something more out of doing the kind of exercise that we were doing, which was aerobic exercise. I called a martial artist and invited me then to come to the dojo. Went to the dojo and the first thing that he asked my partner Carlos and I to do was to take our shoes off. Well, we always wore exercise shoes whenever we moved our bodies, so this was really a surprise. We took off our shoes and the moment we felt our feet on the mat, there was really something electrifying that went through our body. He then asked us to move, whereupon we began to do jumping jacks and leg lifts and he said, oh no, no, I mean move. Again, we began to do exercise movements and he looked at us and he said, you have forgotten to move. And we couldn't believe this, you know, this is what we did for a profession. We taught people to move, how could we have forgotten? how to move. So that day we left and driving home we asked each other, had we really lost the ability to move? And the next morning we got up to go teach our class and we couldn't bear to put our shoes on. The result was, was a synthesis and a blend of the very, very best of East and West to create a movement form all its own called Nia that allows people to move in a way that respects the body's way, the design of the body, and that makes it possible to dance and move in bare feet, still get cardiovascular conditioning, but not jump up and down, to use the whole body in expressive ways that also includes the use of the voice. Body weight left foot to the space. When you really begin to explore the design of the body and you learn about the body, how it's put together and how to use it. It brings one into relationship with sensation, which is the voice of the body. And everything that we do in Nia is guided by sensation. We teach students to choose pleasure, to seek pleasure. And if they're moving in a way that doesn't feel good, basically their anatomy is telling them, you have to change. And if you make a small, tiny adjustment, the body can then regain balance and harmony. And we note that in our body as this feels good, this is pleasurable. You can get fit and stay healthy by following the pleasure principle. There is no need to use pain to change the body. The 13 principles of Nia provide tools for someone to not only condition their body, but their mind, their emotions and spirit. And these tools, for example, the first tool or principle is called the joy of movement. And what we say is that there is this amazing universal joy that is beyond personal joy that when you learn to tap into it, you can even be in a very, very difficult time of your life and even possibly be dealing with short or long-term illness and still use movement as medicine and find a connection to the joy of movement. When one is connected to the joy of movement, the body then the next day when you wake up in the morning says, let's go do that again. You never have to guilt yourself into exercising or moving because the body is so, so coded to do things that are joyful and pleasurable. 
Nia originally stood for non-impact aerobics, and we actually wrote a book called Non-Impact Aerobics. Little did we know, but when you label something as non, it's not really a good idea. And um, then we began to look for a way to define the fact that we were integrating the body and the mind, the nervous system with the muscles. And we then defined Nia as neuromuscular integrative action. And over a period of time, Nia became successful so that now is, Nia is in 37 countries with over 2,300 teachers, providing Nia not just in gyms, but also in universities as part of the PE program or the dance theater program. And equally as important and, and dear to my heart, is that Nia is also used for healing. So it's taught in hospitals and to help people recovering from drug and alcohol addiction. It's taught in prisons. So it has a vast reach to help people not only heal, but get fit as well. When asked to write a book about the Nia technique, I really thought to myself, who buys an exercise book? How can you learn to exercise out of a book? So we really, um, took on the challenge to provide tools in the book that would make it possible to really benefit from the book. What we did is we included, for example, a mobility and agility test that one can take to discover which joints in the body are too loose or which joints are too tight. We also have another test that's called the energy personality test, which is very fun. And you take it and you can find out, are you more of a Tai Chi person, soft, gentle, or are you more of a Taekwondo, aggressive, hard person? And we go through all the nine different energies. Ultimately, you want to have a potpourri of all those energies available but it makes it very easy to see which energy personality you, you overdo or underdo. Age is no limitation. Every body can do Nia because it is really designed for the body. I think what's exciting to the variety of age groups is the accessibility of the experience of joy, the accessibility of being able to move in what we say in your body's way. So within the same room, we can have someone that's 11 years old, someone that's 20, someone that's 30, 40, 50, I'm 58, and it makes it possible for everybody to be guiding their own movement, making choices based on pleasure, and following their body's way. And so the NIA principles make it possible for you to do what we call dance through life to not wait until you go to the gym to feel the joy of movement, but to actually enjoy what it feels like to walk to your car or to walk across the room to open up the refrigerator, to merely enjoy the pleasure of moving in a body.